Okay, y'all. This is the model of Candela, which is $800,000. Now that price is the starting price. So if you want any upgrades or extras, they're extra. Now see how they do in these places is they decorate them so beautifully. Big pictures are key. This is, looks like a queen size, might be a king size bed, I'm not sure. But can y'all tell how little this room is? Not that big. Okay, oops, slow, slow, slow. Over to the bathroom. See that hair, y'all? <laughs> That's highway hair. Okay, very pretty. Very nice details. Love the faucet. Pretty square sink. Ugly decoration. Now, this shower, y'all, I'm gonna squeeze this in a little bit if I can. This shower would fit four people. It's crazy, but I love it. And I also, what I really love is that it has the low lip. Okay. Oh, one other thing about this bathroom. Look how tall that shower head is up there. Y'all, you could be camper van Kevin and you'd never hit your head on that and he's about 6'4". Now, one of the things they do in these models is they use not a lot of pictures, but big ones, really big. Everything is big. Uh-oh, I hear some other people talking. So I'm gonna be quiet and just show y'all. Hi folks. Hello, how are you? Good. Good. This room is absolutely gorgeous. I loved when they started making houses and they made what's called a great room. It's like a big living room, kitchen, dining area. Now y'all, I could do some serious cooking in here. No doubt about it. Absolutely beautiful. Let's see how they've done the backyard. Now, when you pay $800,000 for one of these homes, your backyard is not landscaped. What you get is dirt. Let me show you. Can y'all see that, how beautiful? But what they want you to do from a sales aspect is they want you to envision how this house could be if you moved into it. See, they decorate right down to the place settings. Now, I can tell y'all from having bought a house or two that a good thing to buy is one of the models. When they get done building, they put the models on the block for sale. So you get all of the upgrades and you don't have to do them yourself. They charge a little more for the model, of course, but it usually ends up being less than if you had to do all the upgrades item by item. Now let's see, back here, try not to go too fast and make y'all sick. Hi, sweetie. You? you mind being on a video? I don't at all. Okay. This young lady, she's running away. Hi, sweetie. I'm Christy with the field. All right, Christy. This is gorgeous. Thank you so much. And I bet you love being involved <laughs> in do. the sales of this community. <laughs> I do love it. It's fantastic. Are you a buyer here? Um, I have some folks that are interested, oh, so I'm making videos. Agent. Wow. 
Wonderful. Yeah. Thank you so much. Y'all are interested, right? I love double ovens. And I love wall ovens. They're awesome. Now, y'all, when I see a house, oh, excuse me, here's a refrigerator that's as big. Let me scrunch this up, y'all. Oh, that's as small as it'll go. This refrigerator probably has more square feet in it than my van. This is crazy. Okay. Here's a pantry. It's also bigger than my van. Now this says, I'm surprised. I thought this would be a laundry room right off the kitchen. It's probably upstairs. Future garage access. Okay. Slow, slow, slow. Isn't this beautiful, y'all? Wonder if a whole bunch of us could go in together and buy a place like this. Now, of course, I'm just joking. Look, here's a TV. Almost as big as my van. <laughs> y'all, this is so incredible. Now, look at these stairs. They're beautiful. And one thing I'm going to tell you about stairs I know this from owning a few. I'm trying to walk without hurting myself, y'all. I would hate for this bit video being me running down the stairs hurt. But the good thing about this stairwell is they are not carpeted. I used to hate vacuuming my stairs. In fact, I used to make the kids do it. I wish you could get an idea of how big this space is. Now this is called a den, a game room, or a bonus room. Sometimes they have these set up with pool tables and sometimes they have them set up for kids entertainment. But look how big the pictures are. It's just awesome, y'all. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Now, I know there's got to be a laundry room up here somewhere. Now, this is the master bedroom, and that's a king-size bed, no doubt. Like the little desk over there. And see, the other thing that they do in these models is the windows always have drapes. To me, that's a necessity because I feel like that a window without drapes on it is naked. Holy moly, you guys. Okay, here we have the potty with a little room all to itself, which I kind of think is nice. It's got two people sharing a bathroom. Now, check that out. If I take a bath, I have to take a shower first. Because I don't want to be sitting in any old nasty bath water. Big picture. Check out that shower. You could have a meeting in there, y'all. I would suggest everybody wearing bathing suits, but hey, that's just me. Now I'm going to tell you what I think about these great big houses, y'all. They're huge. They're beautiful. But I'm telling you, what I think about is I could never, look at this closet, y'all. Now, no doubt, this is bigger than a lot of studios and one-bedroom apartments. See the pretty little accents they put in here? Check this out, you guys. You know what it's missing, though? Drawers. I want drawers in my closet. I would not want to have to have a bunch of dressers taking up room in my room. But of course, these places are so big, it doesn't matter. Okay, so this is it for the master bedroom. See the view from up here? That's the only good thing about having a two-story is that, oh, they have real grass in the one next door. Check that out. And then down here, 
Okay, trying to go slow. All right. I like those little blue vases. I almost tripped and fell there, y'all. Okay, so we're going to go down the hallway. Now, one other thing I will tell y'all that my friend Maureen and I used to talk about all the time is the colossal waste of room. They could make this hallway a little bit more narrow and add room to the rooms. Okay, here it is. I'm always worried about the laundry room. Okay, now this is top of the line, you guys. I love that teal color. Top of the line machines. Beautiful. You can see they're on pedestals, so you don't have to bend down really far, which at my level of maturity would be important. <laughs> now look at the hanging rod, y'all. That's a necessity in a laundry room, at least for me. That is so beautiful. And you know what that is? That's pieces of painted wood in a little wood frame. Very nice tile on the floor. Oh my goodness, y'all. Now this is my kind of room. It is for a child, I know. But doesn't this look like me? Look at those cute little llamas. Look at that lampshade. Look at that white furniture. Y'all, I love white furniture. And I used to have a lot of it in my homes. And if it wasn't white, I would paint it white. Check this out, y'all. This is heaven to me. Now, the little table and chairs would have to have, it'd have to be a little bit larger. Isn't this cute? And y'all can see that's a huge closet in there. Now, that S, I'd have to change that to a D. <laughs> Look at that huge mirror, you guys. Now, something else that you used to be able to do, I'm not sure about now. See, that's a little girl's room, and this is a little boy's room. Isn't that cute? Look at that thing above the bed. Now, Sam would have been hanging off of that thing. He would have torn it right out of the wall, probably. He was a little ruffian. Oh, boy. But isn't this cute, y'all? Now, how many of your children would have actually hung their backpacks on those pegs on the wall? Not mine. Look at that. Isn't that sweet? Now, y'all, back when I had ADHD, I love that little chair. Doesn't look comfortable, but it's really cute. Back when I had my OCD really bad and ADHD, yeah, my house looked like this. It was crazy. Nobody ever wanted to come to my house because they were afraid they were going to mess something up. I regret those days, y'all. I really do. Now, here is a bathroom that the little boy and the little girl are going to share. Now, they make bathrooms that are called Jack and Jill, and those usually have a bedroom on either side, and then the kids can access them from each of their bedrooms, but that's not the case here. Now, look at this, y'all. Who in their right mind is going to be able... Look, that looks like a big old coffin. Sorry, y'all. I just have the weird stuff come into my head. So, I guess if you can afford $800,000 for a home, you can have a housekeeper. And I'm telling you, even back in my best days, keeping a home this big would have been very difficult. So, y'all, I hope you've enjoyed it. We knew we couldn't get through a video without hacking it up. I hope you've enjoyed this video. 
And it just shows you what you can get in Southern California for 800000 Now, this is San Marcos. If this same house were two blocks from the beach, it'd probably be a mill and a half. I love you guys, and I hope you got some enjoyment out of this. Do something fun today. Bye now.